everyone, it's Kelly Marie Alvarez here with a video for Simon Says Stamp and we are going to be making a cute slider card. First up, I'm going to stamp the hedgehog from Jump for Joy and color him in with my Copic markers. I'm making the hedgehog darkest towards the ice outside and then lightest towards the middle. And I'm kind of coloring into the little spikes there but leaving the top of the spikes blank so you can still see them on the outside of that dark brown. I'll continue to blend those in and then start working on his little face there. Now I'm going to add shadow wherever there's curves, so underneath his chin, around his feet, and under his arms, and then I'll blend those shadows out and that gives him a nice little three-dimensional kind of look. Next I'm going to stamp the pile of leaves and the individual leaves from this set and start coloring them in. So I'm starting off first here with some oranges and yellows and blending those out. And I'm just using two markers on each leaf, making it nice and simple to color in a bunch of these. Next I'm working with a darker orange and I'm laying down my darkest marker first and then blending that out with my lightest marker. And I'm adding the darkest marker where there's leaves overlapping so that's going to show the shadow of those leaves. And then I'm going to go ahead and color in the individual leaves with these same markers. Now I'm adding some red leaves in, doing the same thing where I'm blending out the color. So I'm adding my darkest color there, and then I'm going to blend that color out with my lightest marker. Last up, I'm going to add some brown leaves. So I want this to really look like a leaf pile, and there's some of the leaves that just don't have color anymore. We'll add the darkest in and blend that out with the lightest once again. Next up, I'm going to use the coordinating dies to cut out all of these images. So I'm going to line them up and hold them in place with some post-it note tape, run them through my die cut machine, and now I have a ton of leaves to work with. Now I've cut a piece of Nina Solar White cardstock with a stitched rectangle, and I'm going to start doing some ink blending. So I'm starting with peacock feathers, starting off of the paper, and then moving on to the paper to make sure that I don't get any harsh edges. And I'm going to keep building up that color until it's nice and dark. So I'm just layering it on, and now I'm switching to tumbled glass because I want it to get lighter towards the top to have kind of an ombre effect. And I'll do the same thing with my tumble glass, and that's layering on the color until I build it up to the correct darkness that I want for this shade. To make sure that these colors blend together, I'm now taking tumble glass and going over the area where those two colors meet. After I've done that with the tumble glass, I'm going to switch to peacock feathers and go over that area once again where they meet to make sure that it's nice and blended and that it looks really, really good. I'm going to continue to switch back between tumble glass and peacock feathers until that area between the two of them is really a nice seamless blend. And now I'm going to start working on the base of my card. So I've used that same stitch rectangle to cut some noble fur cardstock, and I used the Jump for Joy stamp as a little placeholder there to know where to place my grass. I die cut my grass. I'm using my EK Success powder tool there to make sure that none of my embossing powder sticks anywhere but the Versamark Jump for Joy that I just stamped. So I'll add some white embossing powder and then set it with my heat tool to get a nice, bold, shiny white sentiment. Now I need to decide where my slide on over die is going to go. So I'm going to put everything in place where I want it to be and that's going to tell me where this die needs to be so that my hedgehog can kind of roll down into these leaves. So now once I finally get a good placement, then I'll use some post-it note tape to hold it in place so that I can die cut it in my die cut machine. Once I have that track all die cut, I can start adhering all of the pieces of my card. So I'm going to take that grass layer there and add that on the bottom. And then with just some tape runner there, add my fall leaf right to the bottom of that track. Now, I'm going to take some of this foam roll tape and triple it up. I always like using triple foam for my sliders. I feel like they just work really well with that nice height of the foam. Now that I've tripled it up, I'm going to cut it into thirds because I just need nice little skinny pieces. I'm going to lay my penny there on that track as a guide as to where my foam needs to go because I want to make sure that that foam doesn't get in the way of the movement of my penny. So now I'm going to put more little foam pieces down and then put more foam all the way around once again where it's not going to hit the penny but it's going to give the card some nice stability. Now I want my hedgehog to spin which means I'm going to use a circle shaped foam dot and I'm actually going to do triple foam dots here too because I want to make sure he has enough height up off the card to really spin well. 
Now next up is my friend Rebecca's trick and that is to use the EK Success Powder Tool to remove any tack that might be around the outside edges of that foam. The powder will stick to it and remove any tackiness that might still be there. And then also take that powder tool and run it in the track. Something about that powder kind of helps the penny move really fast in the track. Then I can put the penny behind the track and then put the hedgehog right in front and adhere those together. And then I've taken another piece of cardstock that I've ink blended the same exact way as the front of the card to put behind the card. And by doing that, it kind of makes the track disappear some. So I'm going to peel off all of that liner tape on that foam and line those up there, just like that. As you can see, the track kind of disappears into that sky. And then I'm going to shake it to really get that penny and that foam sliding really well in that track. And here I just wanted to show you, if you didn't have any circle foam dots, you can cut your tape into a circle too, and that works just as well. Now it's time to adhere a bunch of leaves into the sky, because I really want it to look, to look like he landed in the pile and like leaves went everywhere, and I think it looks really fun. And I'll add that last one. And then I'm going to take some paper from the Perfectly Plaid Fall Collection. This might be one of my favorite papers from the collection. Trim that down. And I've got a card base here that is five and a quarter by four. Fold that, add my pattern paper to the front, and then I can add a ton of tape to my whole slider mechanism here and adhere that. And that pattern paper is gonna give it just a nice little frame just to finish off the card. Now here is a look at him sliding in the card and it is just too cute. And then here, we're going to go ahead and twist him. And because there's that circular foam, he can spin in that track. And I just cannot get over how cute this is. And I really hope that this card would really make someone's day. Also, I want to thank my awesome friend Kristen for this really cool slider card idea. So thank you guys so much for watching today. I cannot wait to see your Jump for Joy cards. Oh my gosh, I just am so excited about it. So thank you so much for watching and have an absolutely amazing day. Bye.